Hello lovely people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Tasha and we are the Global Goddess Gang. In today's video, we are doing a little DUI project. I do that every single time. We are doing a DIY project <laughs> and we are transforming this wall behind my bookshelf into a greenery wall, so stay tuned. So like I said, today's video is slightly different. We are doing a DIY, not a DUI, <laughs> project. I actually build things all the time. Like I transformed this whole office. Um, if you guys could have seen what it looked like before to now, homegirl put in some elbow grease, right? Um, <laughs> I do love home improvement projects. I love little things to like spruce up a room a fresh coat of paint, a new fixture, all of that, your girl is here for it. I never recorded though, but today I was like, you know what? I'm feeling motivated. I wanna take you guys on this journey with me. Hopefully it goes well. I know it'll go well, but I already think I'm having a slight little hiccup. So anyway, let's just get into it. And um, these are just the materials that, what I think I'm gonna use for this video so this is what you'll need <laughs> so I ordered this green well I'll say I'll order these green panels off of Amazon they came in a box that is over here I ordered the pack of 12 I did do the measurements I tried to take out the account for the door but I still don't think I ordered enough it was either the pack of 12 or 24 and then they had more from there but 24 was way too oh my god <clears throat> i'm sorry i decided to record this video today because i wasn't feeling 100 percent and i didn't think i'd be talking a lot but here i am talking a lot so <laughs> i'm just gonna try to be quick and then get into like the building um i ordered the pack of 12 because 24 was entirely way too many but i don't think 12 is going to be enough so what i think i'm gonna do i ordered some prior to this from timu but i didn't like how the greenery looked it didn't look as plush as the ones from amazon so i intended on sending them back but they're still in my kitchen ups is not open today it is the weekend so <clears throat> excuse me um, I might have to use some of them to do like from where my desk is maybe down so as long as like the good grass is showing that's all I care about so <laughs> in each box came 12 panels they are size 20 by 20 inches um in a couple areas like I'll say right here you can tell like some of the greenery has fallen out because these are essentially all it's like a bundle of grass it's like a bundle of grass with a, um, there you go, with like a hole, this is not my camera, there you go, with a hole in the middle. And there's little pegs. So some of these have fallen out on like the journey from wherever these came from to my house. So when you take them out of the box and kind of like give it a little shake, cause it says, there's instructions in the box too. <laughs> It says leave the grass panels out for um, at least an hour to let the grass settle because it does get smushed in the box. Now when you take it out too, some of these will fall off, but you can save these for later and just pop them back in wherever you feel like it looks a little thin. Also in the box came a whole like bundle of extra greenery with the little hole for the peg. So you can just fill in, cut, snip, wherever you need to put it. You can just fill it in yourself. Um, it also came with green zip ties in the bag in case you need to pull some of these pieces like closer together on each side though too there's a side there's two sides that have these holes and then two sides that have like pegs you kind of can't see them well there you go on camera but there's pegs so you lay these out so that the pegs you know fit into the holes you you know measure it do whatever you need you can also cut it because on the back side there's a grid so you can measure and cut to like I know when I get to my light switch over here I'm gonna have to cut out around that 
So there is some like strategic planning that does have to go into this. <laughs> Um, what else came in this box here? Zip ties, greenery. Oh, like I said, the instructions. Um, it's the artificial boxwood panels. I will link this uh, in my Amazon storefront. Um, yeah, so you guys can look to. It was pretty cheap. I mean, for the 12, I think it was maybe $80 for 12 panels. But compared to other ones that I saw online, this was like very reasonable. And then on the back too, it comes with instructions for like if you were putting it on a fence versus concrete or like a wall and also um, like a foam background wall. So it does walk you through what to do. I saw, okay, so there were a couple people's videos I referenced. One girl, I don't remember who she was, but then the other girl was like Alyssa Forever's video about how they how they just went through and did their grass wall some people used a staple gun i didn't really want to use a staple gun so i'm going to try thumbtacks i have some um flat back pressing thumbtacks that hopefully hopefully that works if not i have a regular stapler i know those aren't as heavy duty as a legit staple gun like I said, I'm big into do-it-yourself projects, and if I didn't have to use a full-out, like, heavy-duty staple gun on my wall, I didn't want to, even though, yes, I own my home, but I don't feel like fixing it if I take it down. So, <laughs> you know, a staple gun, the staples are a lot thicker. In my mind, I just feel like I'm going to take the staple out and a whole chunk of drywall is going to pop out, and then that's a hole that I have to patch. I don't want that problem, so I'm going to just see how... Uh, like I said, thumbtacks go. I was thinking about doing the really heavy duty 3M strips as well, the ones that hold like 25 pound pictures and such, because I have them in my room for something else. They don't fall off the wall ever. <laughs> so I was like, okay, maybe they'll work for this. I think I might have some in the basement. I'm gonna go check. But anyway, enough of me talking. I already um, laid out majority of the panels, so I'm gonna pull out my bookshelves and um, get to work. <laughs> So you guys just watched me put all this together. This is what I have right now. I still have that whole section and the bottom half of my wall to do. So as you saw, I just went back in and filled in some patches. I can still see like a couple more patches now that I'm like actually looking at this in the camera. Um, but you know, I just placed another order for Amazon. Clearly I did not order enough. I'm not even gonna touch the Timu box because I already know the quality is not the same and I don't want it to look crappy. Um, so once I get my uh, other box of supplies, we will be back to wrap this up. <laughs> So of course, <laughs> we're back again. Um, I'm never satisfied. And I actually took a panel, like a full panel from here and I added it up here. And I also started bringing down that extra strip that was um, like open. Just because too, it takes a lot more time to like measure and cut everything out versus adding that panel there. It's just literally three clicks and a pop and, <laughs> and it's good. So. I did, like I said, order more from Amazon a minute ago. So as soon as that comes, I will update you guys. And literally all I've been using too for this project are thumbtacks. For me, it just made it a lot easier. So, you know, there's not full out holes in my wall. Plus too, I'm putting these bookshelves back up against the greenery. So it's like, 
it kind of had something else like to rest up against it. All right, as you can see, it is a new day. We are Salinas. Anything for Salina. <laughs> and uh, my grass wall is pretty much complete at this point. I know some of it looks a little thin towards the bottom, <laughs> but I'm not really concerned because the bookshelf will cover like those thin patches down there. Um, I am still going in and I'm filling in different patches like with the greenery. I really, <laughs> I'm a very precise person and I was gonna say like no material is going to waste in this project at all. So once I got to the corners and you know I started cutting, obviously you have like strips left over. Well, the strips, hold on. The strips, like I said, they all have these, ignore my nail child, I feel like I'm an amputee right now. Like. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing a whole finger, but see how all the strips have these pegs. And like I said before, the pegs all have pieces of greenery on them. So when I, you know, cut out these extra pieces and I had these leftover strips, I'm like popping off the greenery one by one. And then I'm using that to also fill in like the little scarce spots in the uh, green wall. And of course, you can see behind me, the grass wall is complete and there's lights. I <laughs> ran into some issues as I was finishing this. Clearly I put all the grass up. I started feeding in those little extra flowers. Didn't like how it looked. I had string lights over here on this wall next to me. And I was like, you know what? It would be a really good idea if I put the string lights in with the grass. So it gives it like this starry twilight effect. Well, I put the string lights in the front and I kind of weaved them in between the grass. Bad idea, I didn't like how it looked. So I took the whole wall down, <laughs> hung the string lights up behind it and then put the grass back on top. It came out perfect, I love it. I am a little low key obsessed with this. It really does give it the perfect effect. And then I put the battery pack up under here that controls the lights. So I hope you guys enjoyed this how-to video. Like I said, it was my first one, but I hope it helps somebody if you decide to put a green wall in your office. <laughs> Until next time, bye guys.